Hello everyone. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 29 of gate DA24 exam. Now what is the question? Let X and Y be two propositions. Which of the following statements is a tautology or I can say are tautologies. So is or are is there. It means it is a MSQ. Multiple options can be correct. Okay. Now how to solve this particular question. But before that, we should know what is this tautology, right? So, when I talk about the tautology, it means that this particular compound statement is always true, okay? For all the possible combination of X and Y, this particular thing will give me true value only, always, okay? So, this is what tautology is. For this thing, you should know the truth table of all the possible things. For example, what is truth table for AND operation? for OR operation. So, you should know the truth table for implies or I can say implication for this particular problem. So, if I say P implies Q. So, what is the truth table for this? P and Q and here P implies Q, right? So, let's see true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. So, you should know the truth table for this particular thing. True implies true, that is true. True implies false, this is false. False implies true, this is true. False implies false, this is true. So, there is only one condition which, which makes this implication false. That is basically when my left hand side is true and right hand side is false for, impl for implies, right? So, then I can say P implies Q is basically false for this particular combination, okay? Now, what is tautology? We know that the statement is always true for any value of x and y. So, we need to find out that. Okay. So, what we can do instead of finding out the true for all the cases, we will try to find out for which case this particular expression or I can say statement is becoming false. Okay. If this statement is becoming false, it means that it is not a tautology. So, let's go for first option, option number A. Now, in this case, we have to go option wise. So, if I consider this one as P and this one as Q, okay. Now, this will be false. P implies Q will be false only when P is true and Q is false. So, Q will be false only when Y will be true and X will be false. So, when Y is true and X is false, Y implies X is what? That will be false. This particular thing will become false, okay. Now, what about this particular side? So, negation of x is what? Negation of x for so negation of f is what? True. And symbol is there. What is y? True. So, true and true is what? True here. And true implies false will be what? Basically, that will give me false. It means that for the combination of y equals to true and x equals to false, this particular statement will give me false. So, that's why option A is not correct. because the statement should be true for all the cases. Okay. So, option A is not correct. Now, let's discuss about option number B. Same thing. This is my P. This is my Q. Now, I am saying this Q will be false. Okay. But for what value of this thing? Because I want to check for this particular condition only. Because for all other cases, that anyway it is true. So, I don't need to check for this. So, if I say this Q will be false, for what? When X will be false, and y will be false because if you see negation of x negation of x will be true implies y is what false so true implies false is what overall it will be false like this okay for what combination x equals to false and y equals to false now if you see this p thing so x is basically what false and negation of f is what negation of f is what true so false and true is what false basically so false implies false what we are going to get that is true okay it means that if i take any combination of x and y that will give me true value only because we already checked for this particular scenario this is giving me what true so i so i can say option b will give me tautology or this is the correct one i hope you understand why option b is correct because we want to check for any value of x and y this particular statement should give me true value only. Okay. And how to check that? We are checking for those conditions 
that will make this particular statement false. If for that condition, this is not becoming false, it means I can say for all other conditions, this will give me true value. Okay. Similarly, for this option also, this is my P, this is my Q. Now, this will become false for same combination, X equals to false and Y equals to false. Now, if you see here, negation of X is what? True and Y is what? False. True and false. False. False implies false. True. So, this will also give me a true thing, right? So, option C is also correct. What about option number D? Same thing, Y implies X as first option. For what value of Y? This will give me false. Y equals to true and X equals to false. So, if you see this particular thing, X is basically false and negation of Y is basically false. So, false and false is also false. False implies false is what? True again. So, for this particular scenario also, I am going to get this as true for all the combination. So, the correct options are B, C and D. Okay. So, I hope you understand this particular question. Nothing in this particular question, you should know what is tautology and you should know what is the truth table for this particular implies or I can say implication. Okay. I hope you understand the video solution for this particular uh, question. So, we are interested in finding out the condition for which this particular statement will become false. If that is correct, we are getting false. It means anyway, it is not a tautology. Okay. So, I hope you understand this particular question. So, in gate exam, next year also they can ask few questions based on this particular uh, topic or I can say similar type of question. So, we have tautology, we have contradiction, we have contingency. For all the three cases, they can ask the question based on this. But this question was simpler because in all the four options, implies, in all the four options, implies was given to us and we know that for this particular scenario only, this is getting false. So, I am going to check for that condition only. But in gate exam or maybe next year, they may not give you this implies thing like this. They can give you any other expression or statement I can say. Okay. So, in that scenario, how to solve those questions? So, for that purpose, we need to do a practice. But remember few important points. Okay. When I say P implies Q, this is basically equivalent to negation of P or Q. Okay. If you see a truth table for negation of P or Q, you will get this particular truth table only. So, I can use this particular thing to solve this type of question. Okay. How to do that? I already discussed in the course. So, you can just go through that. Okay. Now, remember this particular thing, very important one. Also, this particular thing. When I say P implies Q, this is basically equivalent to what? Negation of Q implies negation of P. So, you have to remember these two important things for implication. Okay. And there are few important rules of equivalence. So, I will suggest you to go through rules of equivalence. Okay. For this particular topic, that will be useful to solve this type of question. I hope you understand what we have discussed in this particular video and how to solve this type of question. So, that's it from this particular video. Thank you.